Hi everybody, I am Lisa Weiss. I'm a dermatology PA in Atlanta and I'm an advisory board member for Elevate Dermatology. I'm here today with Dr. Xiao and we are gonna talk about difficult cases in HS and how she does it. Um, my first big question for you is, how do you manage the psychosocial aspect of HS with your patients? Yeah, it's a great question because our patients with HS, they have you know higher rates of depression, anxiety, there's stigma associated with HS, it's a lonely condition, there's even an increased risk of suicide. I think a large part of that stems from the pain that they're in Absolutely. from their HS and also just from the fact that a lot of them have told me they've never met anybody else who has HS. So first plug would be for HS support groups. I think that it's really important for us to know that there's wonderful and amazing HS support groups out there and patients don't even have to go in person, right? A lot of them are in pain. Um, it's hard to physically get somewhere, but you can log in. Um, Hope for HS has support groups, HS Connect, HS Warriors, the International Association of the HS Network. There's so many great websites that we as providers can plug these patients into. In addition, I definitely feel like when you start to treat someone's HS, it can really help them feel better too, right? Absolutely. You can get them back to what they wanted to do. I think that that can do amazing things for someone's um, mental health. And then also just thinking about how we can partner with our primary care colleagues, how we can um, you know, partner with our mental health professional colleagues to get them uh, feeling better. Absolutely, thank you so much. That's so insightful. Um, what kind of clearance do you talk about with your HS patients? Yeah, I think it's such a tricky question because when we talk about treating patients with HS, I really think about how important it is to set expectations about what they can expect from the treatments that we have. And so um, HS is a disease that just oftentimes will flare. So I oftentimes will talk about how we can use medications to decrease how frequently they flare. We can decrease the number of lesions they get, or if they get a lesion, it'll be smaller and go away faster. We can decrease pain and drainage. And I like to set expectations in that way versus like you're going to have total clearance because right. then patients will come back and they'll be like, just like you said, I did feel better. I had a couple lesions, but they were better than they were. Um, and then that way we're on the same page in terms of what we can expect from our treatment. So managing their expectations early is a really important part. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, thank you. One last question. What emerging treatment are you most excited about for HS? Yeah, so, you know, as you know, for the longest time, HS has had only one FDA approved therapy. I'm so thrilled that we have a second one eight years later. It's taken a, a long time. <laughs> we have a second <laughs> FDA approved treatment, um, second kind of an IL 17 agent, so a different class from the adalimumab that we had, the TNF alpha. I think that in the coming years, we're going to also have the IL 17 A and F inhibitor, bimikizumab, coming on, um, hopefully next year, and then JAK inhibitors coming on. And to, to me, honestly, I just want more treatments. Absolutely. For our patients with HS, I want to have the ability to see the patient in front of me and think, like, well, what out of all the things we have, what would be the best treatment option for you at this time? And so expanding in any way we can, whether it's medical or surgical procedures, I'm just excited. Thank you so much. You are so insightful and such an amazing teacher. So we're so thankful to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. Thank you for watching.